And also you became uh, the ECW champion on the night that uh, will always be, rem be remembered because uh, you were called up to, to replace Chris Benoit. Um, tell us a bit about the night when this happened and you, you were ta told that you would become the ECW champ. Um, literally, like no one knew why Chris wasn't there that night. And so um, I, was, I was there, I was in the office, and um, I think someone told Laurinaitis that Benoit wasn't there. And um, he's like, well, damn, what are we going to do? And at the time I was like, well, Johnny Nitro, huh? And um, literally, like, he was like, he laughed at it for a second and then uh, looked at me. He's like, well, you and Thorne are the only other heels from the ECW roster. <laughs> and um, and then literally when, when Chris didn't show up, like, uh, they uh, decided to put me in as his replacement. And um, I, was, I could not have been happier. Nobody knew at the time why Chris didn't show up. And, um, you know, then the next day we, we found out why and, like, Everyone, they broke down and started crying. Like we knew Benoit, we knew we knew his family. They're extremely nice people, and to this day, it's something that everybody thinks about. That's involved and knew those people, and is very confusing. To this day, there is a big discussion about how to handle the wrestler Chris Benoit for the future presentations of DVDs and of events. And it seems that. At this point, for the WWE, there's no coming back to Chris Benoit as a wrestler. What is your opinion on that? It's hard to watch him for me too. Um, it, it brings back uh, it brings back a lot of memories of him and his family and uh, the man that I knew and the uh, and the situation, the reality of what happened. Um, I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say how anyone's going to feel in the future. For me now, it's hard to watch them though.